the Mega Fan of the Power Racing Series. I want to thank you all very much for coming out. This is the Power Racing Series. What we do is we take those small ride on kids, those, those power wheels. You buy your kids, they're racing around the driveway for a season or two. And then they go out of them. They kill the batteries. You put them up on Craigslist, the worst get thrown right away. When we take them off your hands, and we turn them into lean, mean racing machines. We turn them into something so much better than before. We turn kids' cars into race cars. Every single one of these cars was built for less than $500. That's right, just $500. You can take an old power wheel and turn it into a real race car for adults. Everyone of these people racing here are just kids at heart. All these cars were also limited to just two horsepower and under 48 volts. And we got some great racing for you here today. We're gonna do an endurance race, 75 minutes. For 75 minutes, these cars are gonna race around the track. And every 15 minutes is a mandatory pit. They're gonna have to change drivers. And after they change drivers, they go back out and keep racing. And if they don't have another driver to change, they have to change costumes. Because if you look different, you're different to me. This is the Power Racing Series. We race these cars from coast to coast. We started in San Francisco last month. And we're slowly working our way across the country. We got Detroit next month. We have Pittsburgh, Nashville, Atlanta. And our championship is in New York City. And all these cars are racing for the championship. They're going to try to do the best that they can. And yesterday we had a few champions come up with some great, great racing. Yesterday we had a, two sprint races. The first sprint race, the winner of that sprint race was Flavor Ice from Fort Wayne, Indiana. He gets himself a golden yes. Second place for a silver okay is Fubar from New Jersey. And in third place for a bronze no is Sandcrawler from Omaha. All right, and the second sprint race, the winner was Fubar up here on pole position, getting himself a golden yes. Second place was the Sandcrawler getting yourself a silver okay. And in third place was the Mario Kart from Chicago. That's right, the first podium for Chicago in four years. A triumphant return. But right now, leading in the points right now is Sandcrawler in first place. Hoover in second. Flavor Ice in third, and you wouldn't believe who's in fourth place. Way back here. Way back here. It's the Lego car in fourth. And you're asking yourself, wait a minute, how is a car that's way back here in fourth place? It's called Moxie Points. That's right. It's the Moxie Points. Hold up the Moxie board there. Every single car has got a button and every single button press turns into points. And all those points go towards the championship. So that means I need you guys to vote for your favorite car. Every time a car does something awesome, give them a button push. Every time they throw confetti or something, or burst into flames, give them your votes. And you can vote for as many cars and as often as you like. We call it Chicago style voting. So right now, a champion can be not just win by being fast, but by being awesome. And if any of these fast cars up here up front have a problem for 75 minutes, guess who might come away with a podium? It's the Lego car. That Lego car sitting way in back is breathing down these guys' necks. It's going to be very tight racing out there. 75 minutes. Jim, how about you tell us about what some of these cars?
so far on the Power Racing Series is in the second round of Season 8, and it hasn't been more confusing and exciting than ever. Even though these are tiny, under $500 cars, we have Fubar Labs right here in the green, who has, after five seasons of racing, just last year getting their first win. Now they are two wins in this year, and leading the points championship for overall. How much longer they can survive, though, is entirely up to whether Rizzo Racing, with their two-car effort, Flavor Ice and Lilo and Stitch, can catch them in the longer wing. However, Lilo and Stitch had some issues yesterday, and so did Flavor Ice, leading the win tie one and one for both of those cars. The tiebreakers today, you get to decide who wins overall, and one of the teams that benefit from you most is the Sandcrawler. The Jawas have it in everything. They've captured R2-D2, and they're going to take it all the way to podium. They might not win today unless shocking despair happens to the other two cars in front of them, but your moxie votes might put them on top. Local hometown heroes, Kansas City, has been racing the same car for six years. The duct tape, the dust, all of the despair and triumph have all been wrapped up into one tiny Cadillac Escalade that is as purple and proud as its broken machinery could possibly allow. This car will break a lot. It's probably not going to win, but you will love it anyway because it's tiny and it's broken. Kansas City will represent no matter what. And the other representative, the newer entry, this fire truck, had a rather mid-field representation, but a massive tire explosion the other day left it looking for 911 on its own help. But a fire truck can't really send out another fire truck, so it had to make its way to the pits and suffered penalties because of it. Milwaukee Makerspace has been involved ever since the start of the series. But after many years of dominating, they are now trying to build the strangest and most possibly haphazard machines you could imagine. This year they brought a duck. Will the luck be in their favor? Probably not. But at least they'll catch on fire once for your amusement. The 5x5 timers, which is supposed to look like a 5x5 timer, but it broke. So now it just looks like a power wheel, which it should, even though we want things to look not like a power wheel, when it should, but this one doesn't. And that's confusing, so I will ignore them for the rest of the race. The Lego car, brought to you by Rapid Charge, is looking for as many moxie points as possible. They're not fast, they're not furious, their Harbor Freight tires will pop. This one's gonna go first, I will bet you 10 ducks on that. They will probably go within 15 minutes of this race, I will take any hold on that. However, where I'm standing, the burger car was there. It might start for the pits, yes or no, maybe so. But the time might have to wait for someone else. Hematite team, a brand new team, starting all the way to the back of the field, has had some ups and downs this race. The last entire, last two races actually, they've been kind of in the middle of the pack, but this time might work out for them. Mostly because everyone in front of them might break. If that happens, third place could be for them. I can say the same about the last two cars here, but they spent most of the weekend breaking. This might be different. And if it's not different, at least you'll be entertained by them. And Patrick, that's pretty much the feat right now. So, without much further ado, one last round of applause for everyone before they break all the cars. <laughs> that is your free race recap. All right, now, let's get that parade lap started. The cars will now make their way slowly across track. Everyone wave at them. This is the last time these cars are going to run this weekend. <laughs> According to Patrick, who's busy checking something else, we're going to need you guys to go one way around. He didn't press the go button. Go one more around. Give it up for Patrick, everybody. He's retiring and scoring. He's running on four hours worth of sleep. Everything's looking good, Patrick? Alright, all we need now is the Lego car to make one more pass, and we have good to go recent. Attention 555 timer, your transponder is not responding. That's a problem, you need to fix it. Gotta check for that blink, gotta make sure nothing's obscuring it. Alright, the last car's getting in. The sand crawlers are moving their decorative front of their vehicle. Oh, and the Mario, the second Mario car, because there's two of them for some reason, 
He's not even gonna make the start. They're failing the parade lap right now. That is not, well, there's still a lot of race ahead of us, so there's always time to come back. All right, Patrick, I'm looking clear in the grid. Five by five timer, hoping your timer's working, because we're... All right, the duck is with no luck. Your timer is not working either. You build a $500 electric car and you can't screw a timer in correctly. I don't know how that works. Your timing. No go. Why though? Just wondering. So it looks like we're getting the last two cars. That's why we test before the laps. And yeah, I'm not seeing them registered in there. Even though we tested it a half dozen times before. Seems like their timing is doing a J Michigan crowd on us. There's plenty of new batteries there. None of them which are dead. Alright, let's see. Yep, duck, you're, you are good to go. We won't have to duck hunt you this time. I'm not even having that music to it. Alright, we get the final one going. We can actually finally count down. Final, final, final. Not JJ. What's the story with the timer? They took the no timer. Out of all the timers we have, they took the one that literally says no on it. <laughs> our, Grim, our Grim Reaper has pointed out a great point. The 555 timer took a timer that doesn't work. What does that say about you? What does it say about that? It's in your name. gets that sorted out, I will conduct a completely impromptu interview. Because, you know, Food Bar Labs is prone to good interviews. Um, you have one, one win this weekend. You've had two wins already in, in the season. Um, what, what do you think it's going to take to get that win to get? I think we really need to just hold it together. I'm, 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 as I've been sitting here waiting, I've been worried about like every single nut, bolt, and screw that I didn't check or did check. Is that one right there? They're all of them, the tires. I that one doesn't like you very much. Yeah, it's browning right there. See the face on it? I don't even know how that happened. I got my trash bag here in case it rains on my, my ghetto electronics. Oh, extra protection for when it rains is a trash bag. Yeah, last time, and instead of saying, you might remember I used the dog the cleanup bag. That's all I had, but now I got to leave it. So level right now. You're now up to trash bag. Well, that's good. As you can see here, rain protection. This is literally all it is. That's what happens with a $500 electric car racing series. How are you protecting your car for the upcoming rain? Well, most of my electronics are up underneath the body, so you must have some pretty deep puddles on the track. Um, what if you do have a lot of deep puddles on the track? Well, you know, that's pressing in water, that's always a good thing. So Alright, well, I'm glad Patrick's in the MC. Anyway, sand crawler. I see a lot of parts and components sitting around, including that fan. How are you prepared for the upcoming rain? Sure all of our good Way to stay in character. Good. You guys can learn something from these scenes. Kansas City, you, you, you break all the time. And I'm going to imagine you won't break this because I'm very optimistic. If you do break, what lap do you think it will happen on? 47. We're good to go? Actually, I'm going to mark that down. We'll see if you're correct about that. All right, finally. Track marshals, are you ready? Drivers, are you ready? All right, we're finally ready. One last round of applause for Patrick for getting those transponders fixed. They work all weekend, and then one moment, they don't. All right, I'm handing it over to you, Patrick. I'm going to need everyone's help counting this one down. Remember, 75 minutes this race is 75.